Hello, my name is Ashley Elizabeth, and this is Blossoming Minds Read. Today we are going to be reviewing Lies My Teacher Told Me, Everything Your American History Textbook Got Wrong by James W. Lowen. But before we get started with the review, I just want to point out that I had a love-hate relationship with this book. And it's not because the book is hard to read or follow or that it's not well written, because those are actually problems that this book just didn't have. The problem I did have with the book is that at times I had a difficulty swallowing the information provided, meaning it kind of made me angry. And what I mean by this is that it wasn't really the book itself or the author that made me angry. It was mainly the lies revealed and told throughout history that's what made me angry. Also, reading firsthand just how cruel and unjust human beings can be proved difficult for my stomach to digest. But with all that being said, I really enjoyed this book and I want to share with you exactly why, what's good about it, what's bad about it. So without further ado, let's jump right into the review. So starting off, I'm going to give you a little bit of a book summary or overview just so you can get an idea of really what the book is about. Lies My Teacher Told Me is all about the American myth discussed in our American history textbook of current and old. It discusses topics like the discovery of America, quote unquote, with Christopher Columbus, pre-Columbian times, from construction to discussing things like heroic figures such as Helen Keller and Woodrow Wilson, all the way to events such as the 9-11 terrorist attacks and the events of the Vietnam War. There are tons of things that you will learn in this book and it is packed full of information. It's an important look into the truth behind the American story and the author goes in to discuss why it's really important to teach our children of today the truths uh, behind our history and how it can really help us move forward in progressing into a more positive future. This leaves students understanding both the positive and negative sides to the events in history, leaving students with more of an objective mind. Textbooks tend to take out all of the bad things that have happened in history and leave in the good, leaving students with a one-sided story that not only creates boredom in the classroom, but overall ignorance in society. So if you've watched my other review, The Gnostic Gospels, you can check it up out here, over here I think it is, at the top, then you will know that I rate all of my reviews out of four main areas. They are information, readability, engagement, and overall success. I give each area a one out of five, and then I total it up at the end, giving an overall rating and then a letter rating as well, along with telling you if the book is worth a read. So let's start out with the information section. In this section, I'm looking for how much information is provided and how useful it is. Lies My Teacher Told Me is packed full of information that is not only useful, but important to know. There are multiple topics to learn about, most of which we probably should have learned about already in school. There are a total of 13 chapters throughout Lowen's 362 page book. Um, two of which, in my opinion, are not as important to read as the rest, which I will explain in a little bit. As for the other 11 chapters, they are extremely useful and provide loads of interesting information that will most likely blow your mind. Each chapter provides valuable knowledge 
um, regarding to a particular subject or topic. I do want to just quickly run through each uh, chapter subject just so you can get an idea of the topics that you'll be learning throughout the book and so you can get an idea of what kind of knowledge you're going to be obtaining mainly so you can understand the importance of reading this book chapters one and two discuss important heroic figures in history such as helen keller woodrow wilson and figures like christopher columbus though helen keller was deaf and blind and known as an extremely important figure in history that's really all there is to know about her we don't learn about the other parts of her life and it's mainly because she was a radical socialist. Woodrow Wilson, who is another heroic figure that is mentioned throughout American history textbooks, actually was an extreme racist and was part of the reason that the Ku Klux Klan was even reinstated. Interesting. Not very heroic, if you ask me. Then we have Christopher Columbus, who is not only not the first person to discover America, but helped destroy a whole entire civilization that eventually led to European domination and created a downward spiral effect that eventually led to racism in the West. Chapters three through five uncover the hidden truths surrounding topics like the first Thanksgiving, disease in America, Native American influence in today's society, along with the true beginnings of slavery in the West. In textbooks, we learn all about the pilgrims, but what we don't learn is that the pilgrims were actually not the first people to colonize in America or in Massachusetts. And Thanksgiving is a lie, meaning it's a myth. A topic that's only slightly touched upon in history textbooks is the concept of diseases such as smallpox and influenza and other epidemic causes that basically Europeans brought over to America that wiped out millions of Native American groups. And speaking of Native Americans, did you know they had a huge role in creating European society? Not only did they help provide us with the medicine that we still use to this day, they also had a helping hand in creating what is eventually became known as the United Nations. Even our national crest is, shows the significance that Native Americans played or had a role in European society as we based it off of their League of, the Iroquois League of Nations crest. Unfortunately, there is a lack of this information in today's textbooks. Then we have slavery, which was even longer and more terrible than we're originally taught it was. And Reconstruction resulted in thousands of African Americans, and even white American lives. Morbid, I know, but it is important to know about. And it's interesting to realize when you've been lied to for so long about certain topics. If this information isn't starting to make you angry, I don't know what else could. Chapters six through eight examine historical anti-racism figures such as John Brown and Abraham Lincoln in talks about why there really is a lack of discussion on anti-racism in textbooks today. Lowen goes on to discuss topics like inequality and social class, and then reveals that most Americans today end up dying in the same social class that they were actually born in. I think the number was like 99% of people die in their social class that are born in it. Not very American if you ask me. Then there's this, this discussion of war and this international good guy image that is placed upon America. But what American history textbooks don't usually expose is why America really isn't always this international good guy image or person that it displays itself to be. And then it goes into the reasons why we truly do go to war. Lastly, chapters 9 through 11 mainly focus on things like the Vietnam War, the 9-11 terrorist attacks, and the environmental crisis happening today. These chapters reveal truths behind war and the truth behind why we went and fought in Iraq regarding oil, and then why textbooks really refuse to mention the significance behind global warming and things like the environmental movement. These are just a few of the facts stated in each chapter. Overall, I say the information section deserves a full 5 out of 5.
mainly because I knew nothing about this information prior to reading it and I did learn a lot of stuff in the end. I find information to be extremely useful and especially considering history is one of my favorite subjects, I can use this information on other areas of my research. Now that we're on to readability, I want to look at was this book well written and was it easy to read? In all honesty, I had a really easy time reading this book along with keeping up with its writing style. It's very well written and beginners of history can jump into this book not really knowing any of the background uh, behind the events and still gain a lot of insight and information from it. Although it is helpful knowing some background information jumping into the book, it's not necessary or required. The only real problem I have was that there were a few parts of the writing that did confuse me. It only happened in a few sentences, but it was enough that it was a little bit noticeable. It wasn't enough that it inter with the overall readability of the book or its engagement with the book, so therefore I did give this area a 4 out of 5. Did this book keep me on my toes or help me to fall asleep? Truly, my engagement level with this book was very high. I consistently wanted to know more information regarding each subject that was brought up. Though I will have to admit, I did have to put this book down multiple times. Mainly for my own sanity. As I mentioned earlier, some parts of the book did make me incredibly angry and some of them upset me to the point that I was sad. This led me to only be able to take so much of the information at once in certain areas, mainly because it was just more gut-wrenching than anything. Regardless of this, I was really eager to learn more about the subjects at hand like mentioned earlier. Therefore, I gave a engagement a 4 out of 5. So did this book accomplish what it set out to do? Not only did Lies My Teacher Told Me do everything it set out to do or accomplish its main mission, it sets the bar for all history textbooks. Honestly, every history textbook should be providing this information, or at least most of it. I mean, it's very important to understand history in its true sense. As American citizens, I believe we deserve to know the truth about our country. Overall, Lowen's history book sets out to expose the lies hidden throughout history and provide knowledge for why this information is not provided in our history textbooks. James Lowen does a great job at explaining and exploring this question fully. He gives them multiple examples and he really put in a ton of research into providing an efficient a look into the history of America. For all of these reasons alone, overall success deserves nothing less than a full 5 out of 5. It accomplished its main goal. Lies my teacher told me everything your American history textbook got wrong is a must read book. I can't help but recommend this book to anyone living in the US or anyone interested in American history. I myself have become a much more informed uh, American citizen after reading this book. My final verdict for this book is an 18 out of 20 and A rating. This book is a must read. So tell me, have you yourself read this book or do you find history books like this interesting? Do you have any recommendations? Because I'm always looking for them. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos just like this, click on that subscribe button for more. For the full written review, head over to my blog at www.blossomingmindsread.com and check out the article there. If you found this book extremely interesting, follow me on my social media sites and let's connect there. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy reading to all the Blossoming Minds out there. See you next time.